this for the sake of my background. I'm doing this on behalf of my past, not for Kangan. Um, I built a medical technology that became uh, one of the most successful in the world in surgery. And this is important for you all to know in this room, the most difficult country to get approval for a medical device is Japan. So I've done that. I built a medical surgical product that won one of the highest awards ever given. And the issue for me was Japan was the most difficult country to get my technology approved to be used. I was already in surgery in countries like France and Italy and in countries all over the world. And Japan was the last one to approve my product. So why am I saying that to you? You actually sell a Japanese product. What that says to me is, if it's approved as a medical device in Japan, and it is, then you have one of the most sophisticated approval processes right now in the world. Japan is the hardest. So if you have a Japanese product, you have already gone through what took me 12 years to go through. 12 years. Medical devices, just in general, would come through a company like my past, where you have to be an employee. You have to be actually employed. Why? All the liability that comes with a medical device would fall upon the employees themselves to describe it in perfect detail. Slightly different here. You guys are giving testimony, right? You're talking about friends and family and the lineage that's coming behind you. You're giving testimony, you're talking about a device, but you're really talking about a product. And if it really works, and friends and family are actually benefiting from this, your testimony is the product. It's what you guys are saying. Not a highly trained executive that's training a bunch of nurses or doctors, which is my past. So your, your testimony is the reason this product moves forward. That's a very rare position. Mm -hmm. Seven to 12 years to get approved. That's a common approval process. The United States is seven years, Japan is 12. Guess how much it costs to develop my last product? $30 billion. Wow. That was just the US. So when I had to go to the other countries, we had to spend even more and even spend training uh, dollars to try to get individuals to actually help us to move that product. Why is Kangen so different? Because Kangen's based on your testimony. And you guys rallying around, right, what works. And so the advantage of this product, to be really clear, is that this price that you're selling this product for today is so inexpensive in the medical field. Because they're not, the cost of all that training is being done by you guys as independent distributors, volunteers, and family members, and friends. You're not in a massive corporation where all the cost, liability, and all that is now having to be put into this product. So I think Kenyon's done a great job. They made the price affordable. What would this product cost in the US? It would be about three times that. If it were a medical device in the US, offered under a medical company that I used to have, it would be three times what it cost to have the same product in the United States. So that's the advantage that you have. I think a lot of people that say it seems expensive have absolutely no idea <laughs> what they're saying. It's actually inexpensive. Am I right, Tish? When Tish brought the product home, I said, is that all it cost? It's a medical device. And she said, but it's being sold, right, as a health product in the United States. And it's being sold through testimony and through individuals like yourself. Big advantage for you guys. How many of you all in this room have $30 million? <laughs> I mean, that's a really good question. If you're gonna go into business like I've been, right, in my late 20s, and you've gotta raise $30 million or 100 million, you don't have to do that. Today, you can actually just buy a product that you really should have anyway, it should be in every house in New Zealand, and you're, you're in business. You didn't spend $30 million. So my point of this is to try to convey to you guys, because I'm trying to help inspire Kangan across the world. Um, I don't work for the company, but I've never seen anything like this in my life. You actually have a business that would have cost me $30 million to do when you leave here and sign up with somebody that brought you. 
and purchase a product today, $30 million. This doesn't cost $30 million, does it, Tamiya? No. No, it's the price of what if the unit cost. And you now have a company. You have a company day one. That's a big difference, you guys. I speak all over the world on how to start companies. In colleges and universities, I speak about how to startups get going in Israel. My excitement for these young startup companies is, do they really have a proven product? And will they have enough money to actually make it? Look at the difference here. You guys are all startups. <laughs> And all you need is the equipment and just your testimony. Particularly when I'm hiring individuals to work for me, a whole process of credentials we have to look at and make sure that you have a background, that you can be actually saying the things that you have to say in medicine. Think about what you guys are doing. You're actually helping prevent people that have to go into the hospital, right? You're preventing the advantage, right, that maybe a doctor or surgeon might need by giving them an advantage way before that, at a much lower price, that you're already in business to go do, and you have all that at your hands right now, again, just by buying a unit. You also have already somebody like me, right? I'm using Tamiya because this is a lady that knows how to rally people, right? Christina's the same. You don't have to have a high paid executive. The individuals that are actually working with you are incentivized to at least help you get going until your business is very large. And then they're not really a, a trainer anymore. There's not a need. Kangen's style of business is incredible. It gives everybody in here the advantage of an incentive group to help you, and then the advantage of you guys to go flying on your own, right? And build your own teams across the world. Are there competitors to the Kangen units? There's not. And I'm gonna turn that because I think this is important for Kangen Corporate to know this. If there was a competitor, is it, a, is it approved in Japan as a medical device? Of any of the equipment that's out there today, is it being used as a medical device in any hospital or surgical case anywhere in the world? If you can't find a competitor that has that, then there is no competition for this product. You see what I'm doing? So those that are out selling products that are competitors have a huge disadvantage because they're not really approved as a medical device. They may be approved as a health product. But if you're doing something for your health, wouldn't you prefer to have something that's proven, right? And so I'm sharing this with you right now. A competitor to me is how long? What's their background? What's the historical significance of that product? How well is it done in the medical field? What's the patient outcomes? These are things I look for. And in the case of this Enagic equipment, Hangen is a really very successful product from a medical background. You're selling it as a health product, but you have that advantage. So, if there's a competitor that's approved as a Japanese product, it'd be neat to see that. I'm not sure that they exist. If there's history of these other products that are being made today, I'm talking about history 40 years, or are they just made from last week? Are they just being thrown out from some factory somewhere in China or some other country? Again, there's not a historical pers perspective. So the advantage for you guys is um, history and success. So here's what I want to do. I want to ask you guys, because I'm going to need help from you. Have you had anybody that's not benefited from this product in any way? Those that have already used it? Anybody? Has somebody not seen something happen in your body? I'm gonna give you some of mine. Are you guys ready? My wife brings this machine home. Let's make it clear, this is her bottle, so she's got all the bling, right? <laughs> and I said this on the stage in Las Vegas, Christina, this is almost hilarious, because um, my wife didn't ask me, she just bought it. <laughs> Now remember, she knows what medical devices should sell for, so because she likes a discount, she got a great price on it. <laughs> SD501. So I, uh, Tamiya, decided I would do something a little different. I was gonna prove, it's the time this device was something she bought, that it probably wasn't exactly what she thought it was, and so I had my engineers. <laughs> 
Take it apart. <laughs> Am I right, Tish? I took it apart. She was asleep. <laughs> and then we decided to look at the inside of my product. So I'm going to share this with you right now. Uh, my company is not published. We don't have a lot of online. We don't do any social media. The engineers that work for me are the most famous in medical device development in the world. I believe that. If you ever look them up, they're, when I go to these big conferences, everybody wants their autographs. These are really smart engineers. From every end of the scale, from data, from metallurgy, electronics, every aspect of medical device development, I have the best in the world, I believe. And I've won the best awards. So I had these guys take a look at this machine. <laughs> Here's what happened. They all called my wife and ordered their own equipment. <laughs> They didn't call me, they were afraid to tell me <laughs> that there was no holes in this equipment. None. The platinum here is medical grade platinum. And if you guys have competitors that are talking about platinum, there is a huge difference between platinum and medical grade platinum. Medical grade platinum has to be certified. It cannot be diluted. Platinum in general, which I can purchase today, you get all different grades. But this one has medical grade platinum, and that produces the high degree gas. It produces the high ORP negative charge you guys are getting. My engineers came back and said, this machine is so good, we need to talk to your wife. And I didn't know what they were gonna talk about. They all ordered equipment, all of them. <laughs> How many machines did you sell that day, Tish? 10. Oh my sold 10 in one day. <laughs> to the guys I asked to find holes in it. <laughs> So, my wife is doing well, that's why she has the blink bottle. <laughs> but I will say this too in closing, I really believe um, you guys have a unique opportunity. You don't have a lot of high upfront cost, which is what I have to live with. You have very little upfront cost because if the equipment already is needed for your own health, you have nothing to lose. And you have an immediate business. And the liability that you don't have to be concerned about Right? Because if the machine works and individuals are becoming healthier, that's a great testimony for your lineage, for the younger generation that's coming behind us. If it's already working, then what do you have to be worried about? I think the opposite is, if anybody else is selling equipment that is not of the quality of this equipment, they're in real trouble today, <laughs> as long as you guys can hold on to your testimony. So, my wife sold 10 to the top scientists in the world, I lost 13 pounds. <laughs> I did. In three weeks, drinking this water, I sleep better than I'd ever slept before. My blood pressure drops slightly. I have doctors that monitor me, you guys. I and mean, I have my blood taken all the time by my own physicians. And they all are saying, you're getting younger and you're getting more healthier. And I haven't changed anything except my water. That's all I did. <laughs>